if you're investors out there, you got to know he's four <laughs> for four with his innovations. That's, that's a good batting average. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We always believe that there's an opportunity to really showcase some of the top innovations from around the world, but also inspire the next generation of innovators. It's where uh, Henry Ford and Thomas Edison lived for their winter vacations. So we go in there, having some cocktails, having some food, some appetizers, and meeting a lot of the finalists. It's looking like it's gonna be a fun time. What you see here today is about 500 companies from 23 different countries, from startups to some of the largest companies in the world. If I'm correct, this is the third year for EcoSpheres yes. winning an Edison Award. We are contracted onto a site to address their contamination. We deploy our spears into the sediments. The companies, the teams behind the new innovations inspire us because we realize how difficult that work is. We know that by showing students that one day they could become an innovator and having the conversation about failing forward with them at an early age, because nobody thinks that's sexy or, or important, yeah. but it's the reality if you're gonna become an innovator or an entrepreneur. And the reality of it is, is you gotta get up the next day yeah. and start all over again. Yeah. Um, and not all of you things you win. Not everyone's like you batting a thousand, yeah. okay? One of the things that we're also wanting to share with the world is that Florida will no longer be just known for Mickey Mouse, space shuttles, and oranges. Florida will be the epicenter for environmental cleanup and for a better tomorrow. And this will just be one of those things that's going to be an instrument for change. We're here to support you on that journey because we know not only does Florida, but a lot of places in the region have water issues. Yes. And we've got to do better. And we will do better.